I want to tell you about a mistake that a lot of my clients make in the very beginning when they're trying to get their business monetized. They usually come to me and they're super frustrated because they've got the idea, maybe they've worked with a coach before, but they're at the point where they're just not making any money and they're so friggin frustrated. And so one of the first things I tell them to do is we have to get really clear on who you help and how you help them. Now, we can do that and it's super fun to do that and they're excited when we do that, but then shiny object syndrome happens and they're, they start to go, oh, well I can add in this thing and I can help this person and I can offer this thing. And they wanna offer like a buffet of all the things that they can do. And I wanted to come on and talk about this as an error because like you can, you can help people in lots of different ways, but the reason that I want you to stay focused is because when you offer the buffet, you are then distracted. Hi to who's ever out there. Um, when you offer too much too soon to people, they get confused. And when you know that you want to help a certain type of person and you're like, and I can also help this person and I can also help this person. And, oh, I want to bring in this product and this product. And also I want to do this and this and this and this. Uh, it gets really distracting for the person who's trying to listen. I want to talk about, uh, I used to know um, somebody who was a trainer and she would really, she was really a great trainer, but she had a lot of different offerings and she would kind of fire hose people with all that she could offer. It was like, there was like this huge buffet of things she could offer and people would kind of be like, uh, and then they wouldn't do anything because there was too many options for them. When your people get too many options, they don't buy. And I noticed this was happening yesterday or the day before inside my private group, my um, group called the Idea Space where creative women are bringing their ideas to life. And this uh, one client really wanted to bring in oils to her coaching business. And there's definitely a way to merge them together, but we have to keep our eye on the prize because when we start then focusing on services and products, it can get really messy for people to hear the messaging. And so why does this happen? Why do we get distracted? Well, because for creative women, the most fun part is the possibilities part. They love, oh, and I could do this, and I could do this, and I could offer this, and I could put this together. Like that's that's the most fun. You know what's not fun? Is sitting down and writing a month of marketing, or writing out your social media plan, or writing out a business plan, or writing out a curriculum. Like that's not the fun part. So my clients love the creative part. And the problem is, I mean, it's not a problem to be creative. It's a problem when shiny object syndrome comes in and keeps distracting them from their prize, which is who do I help and how do I help them? Now, it's really easy to get distracted and I don't want you to beat yourself up if you're somebody who has a goal but keeps getting distracted from your goal. Life is incredibly distracting these days. We have a lot of people to take care of, we have ourselves to take care of, and we have a lot of things coming at us every day. Everything is a possibility. And I love possibility, but sometimes we have to kind of put ourselves in a little cubicle and say, all I'm focusing on is getting this up off the ground. So I'm wondering for you guys out there, if there's something that you've wanted to bring to life, a goal that you wanted to achieve, a business that you've wanted to start, are you just too broad in how you're trying to bring it to the market? All you have to do is really narrow your focus down and stay focused on that prize because if you don't, it, it's like you have leaky gut syndrome for your business. It's like you're trying to do this and this and this and this and this. It's confusing to your people. They can't eat everything at the buffet. Just create a really nice meal for them and offer it to them. Stay focused. Um, when you stay focused, you'll be surprised at how, now people will say, no, but no, but if I'm too focused, I'm limiting myself. And I'm telling you, if you're focused, you are clear in your messaging, you're clear in how you help, and you're clear in what you offer. The people who come to me who are the most frustrated are the people who have been trying to offer too much. Now, if this sounds like you, and you sound like you could use some help with this, it's not, it's not rocket science. You can do this. You can whittle it down and stay focused. But a lot of people have trouble staying focused, even the ones like who 
or in my group, like we have trouble staying focused. And I found I was doing it myself. Ooh, shiny <laughs> objects. People love themselves, especially creative women, Carolyn. They love themselves some shiny objects. Um, even myself. So I had a conversation with my marketer la this week, actually, and she was like, you help creative, busy women bring their business to life. You get their business developed. You get it up off the couch and into the world. I'm like, I know, but I could also help like people who want to start a blog and people who want to do a podcast and I could just do general life coach. She's like, no, no, no. This is what you do. You have to see yourself in this light helping these women. And I'm like, you're right. That is what I do. But I try to like hit everybody. And then there's some people who fall through the cracks, right? So if you have a focus, you are, and you stay the course and you may be course correct every now and again. Sometimes you need somebody to help you do that. That's my job in my group. Uh, the, the whole purpose of the idea space group is to help women master their time so they can master their mind so that they can actually reach their goals. But it's really easy to get like off track about time or get a messy mind and not achieve our goal, which is to make money in our business. That's why we're here. It doesn't have to feel yucky. It doesn't have to feel confusing, but it does. Sometimes you do need support and it does need to be focused. So I'm wondering, is anybody else out there doing that? Are you, you know, distracted by, oh, this would be easy to do, like maybe low hanging fruit. You're like, I'm just going to focus on that for a little while. If you veer off course, you're going to miss your goals. So I wanted to come on today and just remind you, know who you help and get really clear on that. And when you get clear on that, everything else changes. And here I am. I am really clear. I help busy, creative women make their ideas a reality. I help them make money from their ideas. I do it in a a specific way, but that's what I do. And that's who I help. I'm not talking to, you know, I'm not a general life coach. You want a general life coach? I have plenty of people I can refer you to. So I wanted to know what do you get distracted by? Do you get distracted by, I want to help more people, or I want to bring in several products into my business, or I want to uh, have several different kinds of offerings out there. You know, I want to, um, I, I have too much going on. If you have too much going on, I promise you that's one of the reasons you're not reaching your goals. So drop me a note below. And if you want to learn more about how to make money from your idea, then let's, let's chat because that's exactly what I do. And I keep you from shiny object syndrome and I do it in a nice way, I promise, but I'm going to keep you on the path. My name is Jen Liddy and I am a business development coach and I hope that this has been helpful to you. If you want to share this with somebody who's got an idea that's been dogging her for years, please do because if she can just stay focused and know who she's helping and how she helps, that is where she's going to start to see some results. Thank you for watching. Bye.